Hello, here we have a brand new action camera that was purchased for less than $20. So this is definitely a cheap action camera and we just want to see what kind of value is there in terms of video quality and accessories for less than $20. And that will be up to you to decide. Remember this video is about you, it's not about me. You will be able to take a look at the sample footage, sample photos that we are recording with this camera and you'll be able to decide for yourself if you think this is something that you would like to purchase. So. Less than $20 action camera, cheap for a camcorder, obviously very cheap purchase from Amazon. Let's see what is included. Here is the box that we just received a couple of days ago. I don't think this camera is necessarily a very new release, but when I saw how cheap it was, I was very excited to see because it's not about expecting some sort of very high definition, crystal clear, high frames per second video quality. It's about just seeing what kinds of Cameras are available for at different prices, all less than $50, clearly much less, a lot less than $50. And what, how does the camera actually record video? This is the Kitty Cam made by the company Dragon Touch, which makes a number of cameras that you can find on Amazon. Kitty Cam Kids Action Camera, and what are some of the specifications here? This is very interesting, 1080p 30 frames per second. So supposedly HD video, <coughs> at 30 frames per second, 12 megapixel photos. Just keep in mind, if, if you're ever new to these action cameras, that the photo feature on an action camera is really, more often than not, not very good. But it's okay, waterproof, there might be some waterproof housing. This is a, the blue color we have. In game mode, that's kind of interesting for an action camera, but, uh, so kitty cam, uh, kids action camera made by the company Dragon Touch. And as we look through the box, at the front of the box, we just see kind of more of the same that was on the front of the box. You have your advertising HD video at 30 frames per second, photos, rechargeable battery, so you don't have to buy a battery, just charge the camera. Again, the specifications here, charging time, for photo uh, format, micro SD memory card not included. Um, this is important. You will need a memory card to store your footage. The, the storage space isn't built in on the camera. You will always, or at least more often than not with these action cameras, need to purchase a separate micro SD memory card unless you're buying some sort of special bundle. And that will really usually look like this. Most cameras will accept 32 gigabytes. So that's what I have here. Yes, this is a very small memory card. 32 gigabytes. They have 64, 16, 128, I think. So I usually purchase 32 because most cameras will. <laughs> Except these, this is my 12th action camera, and so far all of them have accepted the 32 gigabytes. So you will need to purchase this, separate purchase. Otherwise, you cannot really store anything on your camera if you don't. It says so right here. Memory card not included. Micro SD memory card. You need to purchase this separately. We will insert this into the camera when once we're ready. But for now, we are just going to open the box, take a look at the accessories, and let's see what is included for now. Okay, well, at least we have the scissors here. So, okay. The Dragon Touch Kitty Cam. So here we have the camera itself, it appears. Quite larger than a typical action camera, but that might be because it has the underwater housing. So here you go, the Kitty Cam. This is what it actually looks like. You got your underwater housing here that's surrounding the camera. You got your screen, some buttons here. Very cool, we're gonna take a look at that in a moment. Now what kind of set accessories are included? Let's see. Uh, as soon as we can open the, uh, okay, I'm trying to, oh, there we go. Okay, so let's just put the box here, right there, we got our camera, so, some standard mounts uh, that you can attach to the camera. I'm not really going to go over these. I can tell you the, a lot of these are just standard with the camera. You can figure out what you'd like to attach them to, how to assemble these through the read the instructions, but really those are a lot of those are just standard and I can tell you they're included on many, uh, if not all cheap action cameras, uh, some straps here, some, we're looking for a, a USB cable to, <clears throat> to charge the camera and to transfer the photos and videos from your camera to your computer. Another mount here. Here you go. This is what you need. This is very important. This will be the cable that you use. One end is plugged into the camera, one end is plugged into the USB port in your computer, and you will need this to transfer the footage from your camera to your computer, and then, of course, to charge the camera. So USB 
cable, very important. This is included. You will need this in order to charge the camera and transfer the files. Uh, very interesting accessory we have here. Uh, not this one. What is this? Uh, screwdriver. That's... Uh, sorry, I'm not really showing you. Okay, let me show you. Wow, screwdriver. Uh, very interesting for a screwdriver to be included with an, an action camera. That's very interesting. Uh, this is actually a screwdriver, right? Can you see it? Yeah. Screwdriver. Huh, okay, screwdriver. Very cool. Uh, another standard accessory. And, of course, you've got this. Uh, okay, two-year warranty. Okay, you have that. You have the user manual, which will tell you maybe what the functions are, the features, the settings, things like that. I'm not really going to read it unless I really, really have questions, but I'm going to tell you what's included in the box. Now the buttons, the location of the buttons, what the buttons do, uh, some of the features, photo mode, video mode, playback mode, etc. There's actually two games. That's very interesting uh, for an action camera. Pretty cool. Don't know if I'll play those, but okay. So the last accessory you have here is a... Oh, this is actually, this might be very useful, not just for this camera, but for some other cameras that I have, uh, especially if you'd like to just, so what is this exactly? Have um, some kind of, some kind of strap, I guess, that you can just, uh, huh, oh, this is very interesting, actually. So look, look at this, you can actually probably maybe uh, hand the camera around your neck. I, I think I'm going to do that for myself. Uh, very, very interesting. So these will attach to two ends of the camera, and then maybe you can, you can, yeah, right here, you see? Those little, um, the loops right there, and you can just hang the camera around your neck. I think that's what I'll use it for. Very interesting, very cool. Wow, that's a wonderful accessory. I think I'll use this for other cameras I have as well. Very exciting. So you see, right here, just like that, and you can then hang the camera on your neck. Wow, very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so so far I'm impressed with the accessories. Not many included, but the ones that are included, such as this. Well, they're really the only unique accessory that I've never seen on another camera. This, very cool accessory, and this is totally worth it in my opinion. So $20 well spent. Now the question is, how does this record video? So the question is, how does this camera record video? So the first thing we're going to do is we want to turn on the camera, and hopefully it has some battery life, and then we're going to just go through the various settings and the menu options and then we are going to finally test the camera make some videos take some photos and then show you the results at the end of this video so if you don't want to continue watching this unboxing portion of the video feel free to skip to the next part of the video later where we show you some sample videos and photos recorded with this dragon touch kitty cam okay so now all we have left to do is turn on the camera and show you the menu and then we can test the camera record some videos so again this is a Fairly sizable camera, maybe because we have the underwater housing, but very nice to see. I mean, this is kind of heavy. Don't know how I'll be able to hang this around my neck with this accessory over there. But let's just, uh... okay, here you go. The Dragon Touch Kitty Cam that we got for really, I mean, less than $20. That is the truth. That is the truth. So we got some kind of we got the video button, the OK button, the playback. Lots of buttons here, always nice to see. Sometimes these cameras just don't have enough buttons. That's usually the problem. Okay, okay, I'm gonna be able to take that off. Okay, trying to touch, and here it is. Uh, wait, wait, come on. Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, hello. Oh, wow, we have a, um, a space for a tripod. That's very interesting. See? Tripod can go right here. Um, hello? Oh, there it is. Comes right off. Here it is. A square shape. Uh, very interesting. Usually their kind of cameras are kind of a rectangular shape. So here's my, here's my hand. Here's the camera. It's just to show you. Okay. The Dragon Touch Kitty here are our screens, a fairly large, I mean, fairly good sized screen. So, um, what I like to see is it's really nice that there's just a lot of, lots of buttons here. Uh, but, uh, and here's that space that I was talking about. You see the little right here for that 
little strap. Here's one and here's the other one. Again, you can use that to hook it around right here. Very cool. Then we got the underwater housing, which looks very sturdy, honestly, very, very heavy. Okay, so is there a battery here? Let's honestly just find out. Looks like there's a speaker here on and off. Okay. Interesting. You can just have a switch. Okay. Please. Is there a battery here? Where's the battery? Uh oh. There's no, ba there's no battery. No battery life here? <sighs> okay. I mean, this is okay. It's just, it's fine. This, uh, where's the battery? Huh. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh, the power button is right here. I'm sorry. Yeah? Yes, please. Interesting. I don't even know how to turn on the camera. I thought I thought it's the on button. Power button right here. There's a, is there a power button here? Okay, let me just press all the... Oh! Wow. Okay. Um, that was interesting. <laughs> So I guess it's I guess it's this middle button right here. Oh, this is the playback button. And this middle button is the power button. So, right. So if I click off, it turns off. Yes. Yeah, so so that makes sense. This middle button is the power button, and it's not going to work unless we have the switch set to on. Okay. I mean that's that's good. Good to know that. It's two steps to essentially turn on the camera. Interesting. Okay. So here we have. This is not a touch screen. This is not a touch screen. So again, this is the um, Dragon Touch Kitty Cam right here that we have here. Very nice design. I like this. <laughs> okay, so what kind of buttons are here? Okay, here's the USB port. This is where your USB cable will be connected to your camera, and then the other end will connect to the computer. Um, and that's really it. Oh, this is... Um, Oh, this is where we insert the micro SD memory card. You know what? Um, let's do that now, okay? Let's turn this off. Let, 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 let's see. This is probably what the screwdriver was for, okay? Let, let's do that right. Let's do that right now. Uh, kind of was hoping I wouldn't need a screwdriver in order to insert the memory card, but uh, I guess that's okay. Okay, so here we have our screwdriver. Accessory. Let's let's go ahead. I guess um, a little bit more than I was hoping for, but okay, it's fine. It's okay. It's just sometimes these things are just needlessly complicated. It doesn't need to. I just kind of wish I didn't need to open the camera this way, but I mean to. And of course, I dropped the screw. Um, I dropped. Well, this is the problem. <laughs> I just dropped the, I just dropped the screw, bear with me just one second, uh, where did it go? I dropped, uh, yeah, don't drop the screw because, uh, you'll, you'll need it, you'll need it, here it is. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> okay, now, now that we did that, how do we, I just want to, um, Okay, can we just, uh, oh, there it is, fine. Oh, huh, there's the, there's the battery. Okay, okay there's the battery. And what's this, is there a memory card in here already? Uh, okay, let's see. So what's the... It doesn't tell me, is there really a memory card here already? Uh. Whoa, there is a... No way. Well, they, they actually... No way. No way. So the product description on Amazon said that there was a 16 gigabyte memory card included. And I thought that was impossible, but it turns out that was actually right. They were actually, they were telling the truth. There is a 16 gigabyte memory card here. Okay, so 
not only was this camera less than $20, but we received a memory card, which alone has a value of several dollars at least. So that's actually, that's actually wonderful. And I've never seen it, never seen that before. Uh, um, a memory card included in the action camera already. I mean, that's just uh, very nice value. I mean, it's actually fantastic value. I'm not going to lie. That's uh, 12, 12, my 12th action camera. I've never, never seen that before. A memory card included. Wow. Okay, so the product description on Amazon was correct. And we have verified that right now. Well, at least with my purchase. Anyways, I'm not going to guarantee that for you. But that's... Um, how do I say it? Quite amazing that we got a free 16 gigabyte memory card with our camera. Of course, I mean, I have the 32 gigabytes, which is what I use, but 16 is fairly large too. So, um, thank you for that. Now we have to <sighs> drop. Of course I dropped the screw again. I, ah, okay. So I'm just looking for this screw that I keep losing on the carpet. I probably, <laughs> look, I'm not even kidding. Look how small it is. Yeah. This is what I keep losing. And I'm supposed to... Okay. Sorry, just give me one second. I dropped it again. Ugh. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just putting the screw back. I'm sorry. I, I really have nothing else to do right now. Okay, just bear with me for one second. I'm never going to unscrew this again because it's, it's just I keep losing it. What happens? Okay, okay, I'm back. That's what. That's how long it took. It took me two minutes just to put this back. So I'm glad they included a micro micro SD memory card because I'm never going to unscrew this again because it was just took a while just to uh, to take this out. So, anyways, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can charge the battery by inserting the micro the, the USB cable right here. So you really don't need to take this out. You got your memory card. Uh, you got your battery here. You don't need to unscrew this ever again. So just accept what I did as verification that if, if your camera is hold, is storing your footage, that's probably because like my camera, then hopefully there was a, a micro SD memory card included already. So you really don't need to unscrew this portion. Okay. So where were we? We are going to just go through the menu. We're going to go through some of the settings here. Then we're going to test the camera. Sorry for this very long video. The power button is the second button here. Let's look at the settings. Okay, here we go. So we got uh, some oh settings right here. Okay, at least the buttons are just labeled very clearly. Uh, okay, well, there's almost no battery left. Okay. Uh, settings. Uh, I just took a picture. Uh, I just took another picture. Okay, this might take. Oh wow, different. Uh, Different settings. Okay, I guess. Okay. Here's, so I guess uh, going through the different. Okay, so let's see what kind of settings we have. Oh, huh. uh, that's very interesting. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Oh. So use these buttons left and right to scroll through the settings. And then there's the OK button. Oh, okay. So we have games. And this is the back button. Okay, great. You see there's a little arrow. This is the back button. Okay, great. So I'm getting the hang of this now. Okay, so, so settings. There we go. Photo resolution. Okay, 10 megapixels, uh, 12, 5, 8. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so... Not sure what time lapse is on this camera. Loop recording of oh, video resolution 1080p, 720p. That's all we have. We'll keep it on 1080p. Loop recording. Okay, turn it off for now. Date stamp. Let's turn it. Okay, this is the up button. Let's turn it off. Uh, language. Okay, English. Screensaver. Let's turn it off. Uh, power save, uh, USB, okay, okay, turn off the noise, format, let's, uh, sure, 
Wait. Uh, okay, format. Formatting the memory card, if you've used it in another device before, that's always a good idea. The time, okay, that's, that's fine. Reset to factory settings version, okay. And those appear to be our settings, photo, basic photo settings, basic video settings, um, some loop recording, and uh, some couple of games, I guess, maybe. We have a game here. Uh, and that's all really it is. So most importantly, what are we here looking at the video settings? We'll try resolution in both. We'll try the, both these resolution settings when we record videos. Uh, and for photos as well, there was a... Sorry. Uh, some settings here. So we'll try the 12 megapixels. Why not? But other than that, that's that's really all it is. We can, can rec go record... Some videos so we're going to charge the camera it's telling you here what resolution it is 1080p in this case and for photos it is the 12 megapixel setting and that's a record button i guess see it's recording right now and turn that off and <clears throat> we can take some photos i guess uh there's a button we can take where's the photos Okay, so that was our different modes that we have. Okay, that's for recording. This is the record button. And this is the photo button, I guess. Where's the photo button? N no. It's not the photo button. I'm trying to... Oh, where's the... um? I had the photo button before. How do you take uh, how do you take pictures? Okay. Oh. Oh, we'll figure out the pictures soon. But the camera just turned off because it was out of battery. But you can kind of see. You just kind of have to, I guess, try the different buttons, and then you'll get the hang of it. But really, the most important part here is videos, and we figure out how to do that. There's a record button that I think is right here. So we're going to try out this uh, less than $20 camera, which came with a memory card. If nothing else, that's really awesome. You can always use that in a different camera if you want. You just have to unscrew this portion right here. Take out the memory card. Very cool. Nice for a tripod. You've got this right here. you got the speaker for here. Cool design. Definitely you can, it came with these straps to... Now you can hang the camera. I guess I'll just hang it around my neck. That's pretty cool. Obviously, if it doesn't record good video, then what's the point? Came with a screwdriver, which we can might use for something else. Very interesting accessory, <laughs> obviously for taking out this portion with the battery and the micro SD memory card. But um, still, uh, very cool to have a screwdriver and uh, the memory card. Like I said, but here it is. Here's your camera. We're ready to just um, test test the camera, make some videos after we charge the battery. Uh, most importantly, we're going to use it for taking fit videos, so maybe I won't even take any photos, just the 1080p and the 720p resolution settings. But here it is, the Kitty Cam, made by the company Dragon Touch, which makes uh, a number of cameras, maybe worth checking out on Amazon if you're interested in some more expensive cameras. And that's it. Let's uh, see you in the next part of the video, if you like, uh, where we show you some sample footage. I'm not going to take photos. Just going to record some videos with this camera and you can decide for yourself if you think this is good quality for a less than $20 camera, less than $20, and um, I'm very excited to see it for myself because I haven't used it yet. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Hello, this is another 1080p video test with the Dragon Touch Kitty Cam which we recently purchased on Amazon for less than $20, very cheap camera. And unfortunately, I think the video was recording vertically, even when I turn it like this. When I turn it sideways, I think it still records uh, vertically. I mean, maybe that's not the case, but it seems to be recording vertically, which is a little bit unfortunate, because otherwise this would be a great camera. I just wish the video would take up the whole screen. So, 1080p video test. See, I'm holding it sideways. This is how it should be recording, right? But I think it's recording uh, vertically. Anyways, 1080p video test with this cheap 
action camera <coughs> from Amazon, the Dragon Touch KD Camp. So I'll let you decide for yourself if you think the video quality is good, you think the audio quality is good, I don't know. It's, uh, we'll see what happens when I play it back on my uh, computer. Ten eighty P video test with the Dragon Touch Kitty Cam. Hello, uh, this is a uh, 1080p, 1080p video recording test with the Dragon Touch Kitty Cam made by the company Dragon Touch. And I will say that what's very unfortunate is that this camera would be perfect in my opinion if the video were not recording vertically and uh, I say that because I, I recorded a few video tests uh, and I think it seems to be recording vertically and instead of normally so it does not take up the whole screen on YouTube or when you play it back on your computer <clears throat> and that's unfortunate because I, I think otherwise this video quality is looks pretty good for the price that we paid like twenty dollars less than twenty dollars so I will just say that I, I wish it wasn't recording uh, vertically because this is the 12th action camera I have and none of them uh, record vertically except this one and I, I just I wish that was not uh, the case here. So this is a 1080p resolution 
video test with the Dragon Touch kitty cam that we purchased recently on Amazon for uh, $20 I think a little bit less than $20 This is it, the Dragon Touch um, Kitty Cam. Came with a memory card included in, uh, in my purchase, which is amazing. The memory card was already in the camera. So this is it, just uh, feel free to decide for yourself <clears throat> if you think this video quality is good, if you're maybe interested in purchasing this product the 1080p video test with the dragon touch kitty cam